Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on uh, YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal here and I wanted to uh, cover today, I just got a good question on my main YouTube channel. This is actually kind of an offshoot YouTube channel of Daniel Rosal's random YouTube channel, which is my uh, main channel. And I've done a number of videos about Caden Live uh, over the course of the lifetime of that channel. And I got a good uh, question today, which I'm trying to get up on my screen here in OBS. And uh, it goes, I did a video entitled how to reduce video resolution uh, in Caden Live from uh, 4K to 1080p. And I'm using a very low tech method of GIMP to show the comment I got here on YouTube. And uh, this person, I don't know if it's he or a she, serious asks, can you upscale a full HD clip to 4K using the same method? If some clips are 4K, and others are 1080p, i.e. full HD, so I don't lose a 4K uh, quality in the uh, for, in the 4K clips. So that's actually a really good question, and I probably should have done the video about uh, uprising in Caden Live because probably more people are going to want to do exactly this, um, exactly as this uh, person says. You have a mixture of 4K clips and 1080p, but you want the 4K to render out as 4K. You want the whole video to be 4K. So what you're gonna do is take those 1080p clips and double the pixels, uh, right? Because 19, if, if we look at the resolution of, uh, of uh, full HD, 1080p versus 4K, it's actually a, it's actually double. We have 1080p is 1920 by 1080 pixels, also known as full HD. 4K is 3840 by 2160, and that is a multiplier of two. So when you are up uh from your 1080p to your 4K, or upscaling, um, what you'd be doing is basically mapping one pixel onto two in those 1080p clips. Now, I just want to point out one disadvantage. So the advantage of doing this, as this commenter points out, is if you've got a bit of 4K and you want to show it off, you're going to be able to get those clips in 4K. The disadvantage will be when we are taking one pixel and duplicating it onto two pixels, we're basically wasting data, right? There is, we're going to be increasing the file size for all that 1080p um, footage that doesn't really need to be in 4K because there aren't actually enough pixels in the, in the original footage, if that makes any sense. Um, so the answer to this question is, I basically just grabbed a piece of... Uh, 4k from pexels and a 1080p clip from my own stock library of an airplane I put these into a project in Caden live and here's what actually occurs when you do that you're going to get prompted to um, create the clip uh, in to create a project in 4k right now I you can see it's already set here for me to 4k UHD when I open up my Caden live and I dragged in these two clips my 1080p and my 4k clip Caden live just assumed I want to do a 4K video, right? It just said, hey, do you want to do 4K? That's the project setting. We're, we're good with that. So that's actually the assumption. Once you have your project, once you click yes, and you get your project in the 4K resolution, when you click on render, and I just did this, I just tested all this. I rendered this footage out. I uploaded it to YouTube and it can, 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 I can confirm it's recognized as 4K. I actually didn't need to do rescaling at all, which makes sense because it's a 4K project. So it's going to actually know that it's 4K and you don't need to manually go here and do rescale enabled and type in, you know, manually, uh, what is it? 3840, 3840, 3840 by 2160, 2160. You don't need to do this. Um, so I'm going to just take that off and just render that out. And yes, it will uh, upscale the 1080p clips to 4k so that is the answer to that question as quickly as possible i hope that was useful uh, you can indeed use a mixture of 1080p clips and 4k clips in caden live uh, caden live will detect it will prompt you to set the project as 4k you just render it and it, you should see that that will actually render the whole video uh, in 4k rather than uh, 1080p it'll go with the project resolution thanks for watching and hope that was helpful